I'm going to show you the best way to swap your face into mid-journey images. Here are several examples I've created using my own face. This, and this, and this. To get started using mid-journey, you have to have a Discord account. If you're a beginner and you don't know how to do this, I'll leave a link to a video in the description below. Watch that and then come back to this video. In Discord, you want to click on the plus button at the bottom left. You want to click on add a server. You want to go to create my own and you want to go to for me and for my friends. You want to name the server. You can name it whatever you want and you want to click create. Now you want to add the mid-journey bot. If you click on the mid-journey server on the left and then on the right, you click on the mid-journey bot. Click add app, select your newly created server, click continue, click authorize confirm you are a human, and then you can hit close. Once that's done, we'll need to go ahead and we'll have to add in the Insight Face Swapper bot. I put an invite link in the description below and all you have to do is click on it. So clicking on the link, you'll be asked to add it to your server, click the server that it should be added to, click continue, and you'll authorize it in the same way that you did the mid-journey bot. On the right, you'll see the Insight Face Swap bot and you'll also see the Midjourney bot. That's how you know it's active. With that done, now what you want to do is you want to upload a clear picture of yourself. To do this, in the box at the bottom, you want to type in slash save ID. You're simply going to click the picture that you want to open. In the ID name, you can name it whatever you want. Just make sure it's something that's easy to remember. And then you're going to want to hit enter. With that done, now we can go ahead and we can generate images to complete the face swap. Like any mid-journey prompt, it starts with slash imagine. I have a prompt ready to go, which is a steampunk scientist in his 40s, portrait shot, black hair, photorealistic. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upscale the second image because I really like that a lot. With that done, all we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to go to apps and then we're going to click on in swapper and here's the finished product i'll show you several more examples that i've created there's this image of a roman gladiator which i've face swapped into this this one is a wrestler and here's my face this one is a soccer player and we have this one here then we have the cyberpunk man and there we go there's infinite possibilities to put together images swapping your face in and out and the free plan is generous with 50 credits every 24 hours just keep in mind it does cost three credits per face swap for images that have been uploaded into mid journey much like the example i showed in the beginning where i used my own face but given the credits refresh every 24 hours this hasn't been an issue for me i have an entire playlist about mid journey from not just getting started but how to create consistent characters to making art to how it competes against other image generation models like dolly 3 and stable diffusion you can click on the playlist right here